Hey everybody, if you're looking for a low carb breakfast, I've got one for you today. I'm making almond flour pancakes and I'm also gonna add a little bit of coconut flour in there to sort of improve the texture because I think it's a little bit better that way. It's a little more fluffy and light, more pancake-like. What this is gonna do for us is give us a lot more protein in our breakfast, more fiber, and it's gonna be low in carbs and it's really delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So we're gonna start off our recipe by mixing all of our dry ingredients into the bowl first. So first up is our almond flour. Now you wanna use almond flour that's blanched because it's a, fine, a finer grind on the flour, which means that the texture is gonna be much more regular flour-like. So you wanna use that so it's not grainy. Next up is our coconut flour, which I'm using here that's organic. And then we're gonna add some cinnamon, some baking powder, and we're using quite a bit of baking powder here to help give some lift to our pancakes. We'll add some sweetener. Now I'm using monk fruit sweetener here. I get this at Costco. Monk fruit sweetener won't raise your, your blood sugar, so that's why I like to use it. And it's a very nice, you know, it's a very good sweetener. It's a one-to-one -one type, you know, replacement for sugar. And, you know, you're not using regular sugar, so that's good. Now we'll use a pinch of salt, and then we'll blend this all together. Now we're gonna work on our wet ingredients. So in this bowl here, I've got a couple of eggs. I'm just gonna scramble these a little bit just so they mix in a little easier without too much mixing. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. That's probably about a teaspoon or so. And in go our wet ingredients. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil. I'm using avocado oil here. You could also sub in coconut oil. You just have to melt it if it's hard, you know, if it's solidified. And then we'll just add our eggs to this and some almond milk. I'm using unsweetened almond milk. You can use any milk that you like. They'll all work and we'll put that in. And then we're gonna take the whisk and blend it up. And if it's still a little thick, you can always add a little more uh, almond milk to this. There we go, and that's all there is to that. It's ready to, to start cooking. So I've got my pan, a large frying pan here, nonstick, over uh, medium heat. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the pan. You can use coconut oil if you prefer. It's always an option. And I'm gonna let that melt and just kind of coat the bottom of the pan with my my butter here. Now you don't want to put your pancakes in there and, until you see the butter starting to, you know, bubble up and you know the pan is hot. Okay, you, I'll just put a little dollop in there. Smaller pancakes are just easier to handle. Don't overcrowd them in the pan. And I think you can see kind of the bubbles that are in the pancakes and that's from our baking powder. So I'll put four in the pan. All right, you can see our pancakes have fluffed up a bit. And we'll have a peek, see how they're ready. Oh, they're nice and golden, so we're gonna flip them over. Now if you make them too big, they're harder to flip. So that's about as big as you want them to be. So we'll cook these for, you know, three or four minutes per side, depending on how high your heat is, and then we'll flip them over and cook a, the second side until they're golden brown. All right, check the second side. These look like these are done. So I'll set these aside and cook up the rest of my batch. Add a little more butter to the pan. So we got seven pancakes out of this batch. You can easily double this recipe. So what you're looking for here is the top of the pancake gets sort of the dry look to it, and you can see the bubbles, and that's how you know it's time to turn it over. All right, so here's our pancakes. They cooked up nice and quick, nice and golden brown. Check that out. Now you wanna serve these up with some nice real maple syrup. And if it's cold from the refrigerator, go ahead and heat it up in the microwave. And that way it's nice and warm to add to your nice warm pancakes. All right, so I'll just drizzle a little bit over. And we're gonna take a taste here. Now you can see here, nice and fluffy. It's 
got a nice buttery taste to it because of course we cooked it in butter. It's got a little crispy edge on it, which is nice. And there's a hint of coconut to it. Not, it's certainly not overpowering, but very delicious guys. Give this a go and let me know what you think. Now, if you'd like to try another almond flour recipe of mine, I have one for you that you really should try. I'm gonna leave a link for you. It's my banana bread almond flour uh, recipe. And so you just click that, check it out. Let me know what you think of that one. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week for another delicious recipe.